as we know that nanostructure material can be used in many advanced electronic devices such as solar cells such as catalysis such as uh, sensors such as water filtration and such as medical purposes in lithium ion batteries so many applications such as super capacitors and we know basically that nano mean that when the dimension is below 100 nanometer we know this or sometimes people say that when the dimension is below 1000 nanometer so this we call a uh, nanostructure material if it is one dimension three dimension or uh, two dimension or uh, one dimension right now basically uh, sometimes people say that if at least one dimension is if one dimension is basically uh, in this range 100 nanometer below or 1000 so we call that uh, nanostructure material right and we know that basically nanostructure material are divided into uh, many that is the zero dimension uh, that is uh, mean that just like a dot here so when you have a dot so you cannot measure its x axis or its y axis or its z axis this means it's a dot this is why it is called zero dimension such as nanoparticle this material has a very high specific surface area and slow electron transport one dimension has a very low surface area but fast electron transport and the hierarchical uh, structure has a moderate surface area and low electron transport now the question is what will be the future material look here uh, we just define these three just forget about two dimension now uh, these three kind of material one dimension zero dimension and three dimension hierarchical structure so which material we have to select look these two are the key parameters the surface area and the electron transport in this one have advantage another is a disadvantage this the, the you see the, the green is beautiful things I mean the, the advantages while the red is uh, uh, disadvantages so this is the moderate surface area but low electron transport so what we need to do now we need a material which has a high specific surface area and low and fast electron transport mean that both green we need in a material so what do you think so we need a material which give us one dimensional nature and as well as give us high specific surface area or moderate surface area so that we are looking for and that is the future material right the future material so what we have here uh, basically uh, at the most what we have uh, moderate surface area and fast electron transport right are not fast but high so look now here so what next we need here so we need a single nanostructure nanostructure material uh, with two key properties what key properties uh, the, the the high surface area the high in fast electron transport we need a single material which perform dual function so that dual function is basically uh, this is the material uh, you can see here that uh, this is one dimensional basically one dimensional material one dimensional but you can see that it is hollow and not one hollow because it has two holes here in one material you can see and this material has three holes one hole here and here you can see so this means that uh, this material is a type of material which can give uh, both functionality mean the surface area the area and uh, also the electron transport the area and faster electron uh, transport right so this is the future material and if we have a material uh, which uh, uh, can give us a high specific surface area as well as a faster electron transport so this you look here why it is high specific surface area because more surfaces are exposed here you see because the outer surface is also in inside it is also hollow so more surfaces are exposed is compared to the condensed the solid nano rod or nano uh, wire etc right so if we are able to increase this channel into many so like this is now two here three if we increase this to 10 10 
So that will be more and more beneficial.